Hello people, welcome back to the channel Chris GG, where today we're gonna be adding more to the TV and movie mess multiverse web. Uh this is my second time trying to record this video because uh for whatever reason Lucidchart didn't update my pro account status. I don't know. Something like that. But I fixed it, so we're gonna pick up right from where we left off. In the last video, branching off from Endeavor, uh, yeah, <laughs> Endeavor, which connects, uh, Murder My Sweet, uh, from 1944, uh, because Dr. Amthor from Murder My Sweet is mentioned in Endeavor. This. Nineteen forty four. And I don't think Murder My Sweet connects to anything else. Okay, from now on, it's pretty much going to be one big uh, franchise. Because Endeavor also connects to... From Russia with Love. The Kronstein variant of the Queen's Gambit is mentioned in Endeavor. Kronstein is a chess grandmaster from uh, the movie From Russia with Love. And like, uh, like it shows on here, this is the start of the James Bond uh, movies. Not, well, this is the first one, but first one that was connected in here so I will say oh never mind I, I reference it in my notes in a later uh, connection connection From 1963, and I will not be getting all of the James Bond movies in at this moment, in this video. There are just way too many of them, and it would take too long. No, come on. Alright, after that, we are going to go back in time a little bit to the actual first movie, Dr. No, from 1962. Uh, from Russia with Love, obviously, is a sequel, kind of, uh, a sequel to uh, Dr. No. Kind of, I, I say that, I'll explain in a second. So, after that, From Russia With Love connects to the next one in the series, Goldfinger, from 1964, the sequel. Now, it's hard to tell which movies are part of the same continuity, so I'm adding them all. 
I tried looking it up, and from what I can tell, there are at least references to and each and from. Uh, there are at least references to and from each movie. So, it's really tough to figure out what is connected and what's not, and all that. They're all part of the frame, same franchise. I just, I won't connect anything to the James Bond franchise, unless, like, I find it later on that will really help, like, solidify their part in this. <clears throat> you know? Gold. Uh, 1964. Excuse me. I don't really need this to be out that far. <clears throat> Anyways, after that is the sequel to Goldfinger Thunderball from 1965. Yeah. I really don't need to be curving this, so why am I? That, and I'll move this down here. Come on. No. Up there? No. Down. Okay, looks fine to me. <laughs> All right, after Thunderball is a television film that was used to promote a different uh, James Bond movie. Welcome to Japan, Mr. Bond. From 1967. <laughs> Up a little, down a little, up, down, down, up, there. <clears throat> now, like I said, this movie, television movie, was used to promote a different movie. This next one is not that movie. It is kind of a competing television uh, film that was also to promote, uh, used to promote the same movie, and I am just now kind of understanding why, we'll see in a second, that would be, that would, Casino Royale, from 1967. <clears throat> now this is a no. I was going to do something, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Casino. 
You know what? Fine, I'll do it. Okay. Here. Since they came out at the same time, same time to do the same thing, remote. Come up there. The same movie. We're gonna do that. Down a little. Okay. Move that forward. Also move that forward. There. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that. I can actually move this down a little. And then oh, the movie, the next movie is you only live twice, which now I get why they were, they did two, uh, kind of, why they did two movies to promote this thing. Like, it's two different adventures, two different lives of James Bond. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. From 1967. Twice, 1967. That's good. There. And then I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. That. This. There. There we go. Now, moving on. After You Only Live Twice is... Uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. From 1969. Clearly another James Bond film. No, 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 come on. There. Okay. That's my bad. Anyways, moving on. After on Her Majesty's Secret Service, is Diamonds Are Forever from 
sure. No. Anyways, after Diamonds Are Forever is the movie Live and Let Die from Then is The Man with the Golden Gun from 1974. Next in the Jane, J James Bond, I don't know why I struggled with that, in the James Bond series is The Spy Who Loved Me from 1977. Next is Moonraker from 1979. Not sure if the 70s had the time to be doing uh, space action films, but maybe it did well. Maybe it worked out. I don't know. But I'm just saying, with as many movies as are in this franchise, it could handle a flop or two. But I have not seen a single James Bond film, so I wouldn't really know. Alright, it didn't seem like it flopped, or maybe they thought they would just bounce back, because next is only two years apart. For Your Eyes Only, from 1981. After For Your Eyes Only is Never Say Never Again, 
Wow, that is very threatening. But never say never again. And while pointing a gun at me, that uh, <laughs> didn't realize how threatening that actually was. 1983. Next up is uh, this movie called Octopussy from It didn't just latch on there. Anyways, uh, that's not the right thing. Next is A View to a Kill from Really? Come on. No. Yeah. No. No. Leave it. I'm I'm not messing with that anymore. Because the last one that I have for the video today is The Living Daylights from 1987. Maybe I should have just gotten to the 90s before finishing up the notes, but... Oh well. No. Like... That. And... We are finished for today. Let's see how that... Oh jeez, that went pretty far. <laughs> Would have gone farther if I didn't compound those. But, anyways, I'm going to leave this here for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go and leave a like on the video. If you didn't, there's another button for that. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, be notified whenever I upload. Uh, if I messed anything up, if I added something you think I shouldn't have, or if I missed something you think I should have added, 
which with franchises like this, I think it's really possible, I guess. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate the help. But until next time, hope you have a nice day.